Well, the U.S. fentanyl epidemic shows little sign of abating. More than 100,000 people died in America last year of an overdose, the majority of which were from synthetic opioids such as fentanyl. It can be up to 50 times stronger than heroin. Our correspondent in San Francisco, James Clayton, has been speaking to a former addict about how it took over his life. Brian was homeless on the streets of San Francisco for three years, between 2020 and 2023. There's, there's someone actually doing fentanyl right there. Oh yeah, that's, you're gonna see that. Like, people don't give a This is his account of what life is like, homeless and addicted to fentanyl. For like a year, I didn't go to sleep on purpose. I felt, I, where I fell is where I slept. And I always wondered like, how do you, why don't you go and get undercover or something? And it's cause you're just exhausted. You're like, just sheer exhaustion and you lay where you fall, you know? So yeah, I've been, been there, <laughs> been there plenty of times. It's an all encompassing desire. Like it's a 24 hour a day job. All you're doing is acquiring money to make sure you still have dope. Cause even when you run out, like obviously withdrawals are looming. Like they're gonna, they're gonna come in a matter of hours. To keep up his habit, Brian regularly stole items from stores and sold them on the streets for his next fix, which he knew could be his last. There was one time we were sitting on a ledge smoking dope, like me and a few guys near the drug dealer spot. And there was a guy like laying down on the ground, kind of watching him, but he wasn't moving, but people laying on the ground sleeping all over the place in that area, you know? And then somebody went over to him and he was dead. And that's just regular Tuesday morning or whatever. In 2022, Brian's feet were starting to get more and more swollen, a common problem for fentanyl users. He walked with a limp. I had cellulitis, like which is a cellular infection in my legs due to like poor circulation. On our walk, we run into an old friend whose heavily bandaged legs are dripping wet, likely from a similar infection. Is your leg okay? It's like wet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that's from. Yeah, see. That's that's what happens. It's like weep, weeping wounds. So you gotta change the dressing all the time. You you already know. Like it's it sucks. Last year, Brian's legs became septic. I was like laying in the BART station unresponsive, apparently, like in the chair, like, and somebody checked on me. It was like real hit or miss. Like I, they thought I was gonna die a few times. Brian did survive though, and says the experience changed him. He's been clean for nearly a year now. You definitely regain or even grow a greater appreciation for little, like small pleasures. Like the sound of skateboard wheels on the concrete, rather than just like, I couldn't enjoy anything if it wasn't like fent fentanyl was the first concern. Brian could consider himself lucky. During the period that he was on the streets from November, 2020 to April, 2023, 1,683 people died in San Francisco due to a drugs overdose, most of them from synthetic opioids like fentanyl.